Hello, it's the second day of Izzy Summer School today and I'm back in Cardiff. I've got a bit of a mission on today. I've reached that point in life where I need reading glasses and other glasses. And last time I went to the opticians, it was quite, it was like a month ago or something, so I'm really overdue to do this. But they said I've got three options. I can keep the glasses I've got now, but take them off for reading and bring it closer. You know, the thing I'm reading. Or get two pairs of glasses, one for long distance and one for short distance. Or number three, get very focals or bifocals, whatever they are. And I didn't fancy the options one and three, so I've dug around at home. I found an old pair of prescription glasses and I've got these as well, they're on my nose now. <laughs> and I'm gonna make these ones my long distance glasses and I'm gonna make my old prescription sunglasses into my new reading glasses. And that way I shouldn't have to pay anything. So that's where I'm off to now. What I do? I'll just quickly show you my old prescription sunglasses. I never wore them anyway. I found it a pain taking them on and off and swapping them over and they always got some block on them. <laughs> I prefer to just wear normal glasses and a sun hat to be honest. Here in Queen Street, the floor's all mucky. Look. There's a machine over there. I think they might be cleaning out the drains. They're uh, hosing it down afterwards. Ah uh, yes, Team Glam High. That means cleaning team. So it's leaking. There's water going into it from that tap. Well maybe it's not the drains then, I don't know. Anyone know what they're doing? I'm distracted anyway. Let's go to Specsavers. Well, I've been to Specsavers. They couldn't do it today, but they took my reading glasses frames and they're going to have them ready by Friday. And they're ordering in the lenses for these ones and I can take them in on Friday and get them done and collect them in a couple of hours. So that's that plan. And right now, I'm going to eat some leftover pasta from Izzy's dinner last night that she didn't finish. It seemed to make sense to just bring it rather than buy food out. Look what I suddenly remembered I had. A Costa Coffee gift card. Woohoo! There's £10 on that. Thank you very much to the person who bought me that for my birthday ages ago. I'm going to go and find a Costa with a PowerPoint and a table where I can do some editing. There is one right opposite as it so happens. I'm usually more of a Cafe Nero girl. Oh yes! That's what we wanted. There we are. That's me happy for an hour or so. I know everyone always goes on about this in vlogs, but that really is a good coffee. The thing with the soy ones, done properly in places like Costa, it's like they're still creamy and kind of a bit sweet, but then more thirst quenching as well. Very nice. About now. Look, there's a pianist busking. Don't see that very often. to spare now and then I have to go and meet the invisible boyfriend because I'm rehearsing again tonight so my dad's gonna get Isabella and have her overnight and drop her back at the summer school in the morning so yeah that's what I've got to do I think I might need to make more of a concerted effort to buy clothes today because I was a bit rubbish yesterday I was a bit like uh, everything's heavy don't want to carry anything but I bought my trolley today right I'm off to H&M again I've just come into Grand Arcade this one and very grand it is. <laughs> it's got an H&M in it. More success today than in two minutes and I've already grabbed two t-shirts I quite liked. I'm out there now the music got a bit annoying so I gave up but I did manage to pay for the t-shirts first. I think I might be hungry. Maybe this is why I can't make a decision. I'll fill that pasta too. I popped in Marks and Spencers and got one of these. Dairy free but not egg free. I've been spectacularly rubbish at going vegan. It just didn't happen. I'm not quite sure what these are. But they taste quite nice. I'm not particularly partial to the cashew nut hummus. Mm. A little bit stronger flavour for me, but I'm sure it's nice. It's like probably most people would like it, just not for me. 
I'm getting there, working my way through it. I was getting plagued by a wasp just now. As soon as I got the camera out to film it, it flew away. So I know how to get rid of wasps now. He's back. Not my favourite species, I must admit. It's looking for more vegan food. Don't come this way. Oh, it's gone. I've had my lunch and I'm going to go off and meet the boyfriend now. So I'll see you much later. Many hours later, I am back at the boyfriend's house cooking some pasta stuff, for tea, and he's practicing. It's about quarter to twelve at night now. We rehearsed for several hours, we have chilled out and watched telly, and now it's time to end the vlog because we're going to bed. So thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to give the video a like if you liked it because it helps the channel to grow. Comment down your thoughts below and hit that subscribe button to follow more adventures and I'll see you in the next one.